and the Southwestern Virginia Technology Council has been very supportive of the development of the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport at Wallops Island. In fact, Bob McDonald referenced the fledgling Virginia Spaceport as he made his statewide announcement to us a few weeks ago, acknowledging the $1.9 billion contract that will enable the commercial Virginia on spaceport to launch resupply the International Space Station in Georgia as a spatial retirement. Will you, pledge, will you pledge to include significant operating funds in the state budget for the commercial spaceport staffing? And how might you as governor work to uh, recruit commercial space flight industries to the Commonwealth of Virginia so students doing software engineering at UVA wise may get a job? It, it's, it's interesting, Jack. When I was in law school um, a quarter century ago, I, I chaired a seminar one time on the development, commercial development of space. We, we had a speaker from um, the United Nations that came down and kind of, his apt analogy was the development of space was going to be much like the development of, of the sea, which has occurred under the law of the sea um, that was advanced by the United Nations 30 years ago. I think Wallops Island represents huge op huge opportunity for us. I think not only, um, what, 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 you know, government, there, there will be politicians who will talk about creating jobs. And, and sure enough, you can create policies that help incentivize the creation of jobs. But government doesn't create jobs unless it grows the size of government. Government creates the environment that nurtures the private sector to create jobs. Um, this is a sort of um, wild style, and I think from, from my perspective anyway, um, is an example where we can do a better job of nurturing an environment where a, an entrepreneurial culture is developed. We, we encourage people to become involved in, in the commercial development of space. I think it's a huge opportunity for us and one that we have to partner not only with the private sector but with the federal government on. I think there are real opportunities there for us. Um, not only, well, commercial flight, but um, frankly, with respect to our future energy development. I, I think there are things out there, there are part of the answers to our energy questions are, are things we haven't thought about yet. And some of those answers are going to be found in other, other universes. They're going to be found out in space. And some of the, the research that's done that to answer those questions are going to be conducted in, while in space flight. So I think there are opportunities there we have to take advantage of. I think, frankly, the Wallops Island um, project fits in very, very nicely with my idea about building an energy-based research triangle. And I, I'm, I'm committed to the notion that we, yes, I'll, I'll be committed to funding it, and I'll commit to working with the private sector to find ways to create incentives to get more people involved with, with commercial development space. Terry, one final question about may, please. Uh, recently, you were before the Northern Virginia Technology Council, and there was a little delay in posing this question. We've been asked to do it. The uh, Southwestern Virginia Technology Council has been supportive of the development of the Mid Atlantic Regional Spaceport of Wallops Island. Mm -hmm. And in fact, you may be aware there was a recent $1.9 billion contract awarded to Workable Sciences yeah. uh, to resupply the International Space Station. Would you pledge as governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia to include funding in the next state budget for increasing the staff at the spaceport to support commercial launches? And what might you do as governor to recruit more commercial space launch activity in Virginia so software engineering students like those people developed here at the wise can have a future in the engineering projects? Yeah, uh, first of all, absolutely. It's a huge, as I talk about other sustainable uh, opportunity for us. We could be a world leader on this. This is where we are taking action business away from uh, Florida, uh, bringing it here to Virginia. Opportunities like that on space is something I would invest greatly in, and I would do a lot of, I'm a big believer in public private partnerships, as in high speed rail and others. We all need to bring the private sector into it. State can't do it all alone. We need partners in this, and I'm a big believer in that. 